Hey guys, it is a little bit later in the day uh, on Friday and it's gone to work. I was just answering some emails and all that crap. Knock on the door and finally my awesome Black Friday purchase has arrived. What you say might that be? I got a new blender. Now, I said new blender. We already have a blender, but I hate it. 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 it makes me angry. Um, it always gets, you know when you're blending and then the air pocket gets stuck there um, and then it, nothing goes, it goes nothing, right? So whatever. I see enough people on YouTube using either the Vitamix or the Blendtec. So there was a really awesome deal on the Blendtec on Black Friday. So here we go. Ba, ba, ba. Don't mind my frostbitten fruit in there. Um, I didn't really have much to blend really because I really wasn't using our old blender. Wasn't really making smoothies or anything like that. So this is just what I have. I have some little bit of water, a fresh apple, and some frozen pineapple and mango. So let's give this thing a try. I guess, I mean, if it was fresher ingredients I could do the whole juice. But I think we will go for a smoothie. Hold on to your seats, guys. God damn. It's certainly not quiet, let's put it that way. If you ever see those videos, the, the will it blend video, where you know the guy, the crazy guy, throws like stuff in his blender and goes, will it blend? That's the blender. So uh, if I really need to blend my iPhone, you know, get rid of the evidence, uh, I can do that in this, which is really fun, but I think I'll just have a smoothies instead. Uh, I'm really excited to use the whole juice feature because uh, we have a juicer and I use it. Um, and yeah, that's another thing too, where I kind of like, I like it, but I hate it. It's such a pain in the ass to clean. If you guys have ever tried juicing, it's great. Like fresh juice is amazing, but it is such a pain in the ass to clean. Uh, so you have to obviously prep the food a lot before it goes in the juicer, juice it, drink your juice and almost right away or even before you drink your juice you have to clean the machine because if you let it sit it starts to stick to everything inside like the pulp so this machine here does a whole juice feature which basically anything you would have put into the juicer that all that pulp gets thrown away this blends it so fine you can just drink it kind of like a, a really loose smoothie so let's try this drink right now All right, so let's give this a try. Not bad, smooth as all hell though. Our old blender never made anything with ice or frozen that smooth. It is exactly like how you get at a uh, Jamba Juice or that other place, so. Mm. I give the Blendtec Total Blender an A+. What was that? That was scary, huh? It was scary. Was it loud? Was it really loud? What is it over there? Yeah. Scary, huh? Look at that douchebag. It's a little bit later in the day. Well, much later in the day. It's 7.15 now. Today I filmed a, you can see my stuff back there, a holiday gift guide for, is this even recording? It is recording. Okay. I filmed the holiday gift guide for him, your boyfriend, your nerdy friend, your husband, whatever. Uh, that is probably already up because I want to get that up as soon as possible. Anna will be done soon. She should be coming home any minute, hopefully, fingers crossed, because I got dinner a cooking. Look at this. These are some Yukon Gold Potatoes. This is an old Jacques Pepin recipe, apparently. Boil them in stock. You let the stock um, reduce to nothing. And oh, there's butter in there too, so that's what is sizzling down there now. And I had just flipped most of these. Um, that one I didn't flip, gotta fix that. But they get browned on one side, and then they brown the other side, you flip them again, and they are good to go. We're gonna have some pork chops that are hanging out in there until Anna comes home. And when I know she's on her way, I can start the cooking, because uh, if I start too soon, won't be good. It's been a eventful day. Did that filming, I did some editing, and I did a bunch of other work, and Mookie has been chilling, 
Right? Are you chilling? Do you like chilling? He's still wearing his scarf. And yeah, I wanted to go out and get stuff for the new blender, but uh, didn't have a chance. I think I will go tomorrow morning and get some cool stuff to blend the hell out of. And I will show you guys that. I'm probably gonna do the, uh, like a green juice recipe. I know Benji on Judy Time has a good juice, whole juice recipe. I'm pretty sure he has the same blender, so we will try that out. Uh, so yeah, Anna will hopefully be coming home soon so she can eat these potatoes, which smell and look delicious. I will get, I'll show you the pork chops when they cook too. It is dinner time. Uh, we have the pork chops right there. There is dosed pork chops for me. And some of those roasted potatoes that turned out amazing. Well, not really roasted. They were just fancy fridge potatoes. And there's Anna's. She's got one chop and some potatoes. More potatoes than either of us can finish, I'm sure. And then there's a little salad there. And yeah, that's gonna be it for the night. So Anna's already like, in the shower and stuff, and now she's over in the bed zone. So we're gonna eat in bed and watch some TV because she's gotta get up early tomorrow morning. So we are gonna say good night. Say good night, Anna. Good night. And bye. We got our camera back. <laughs> okay, let's not look at that. Let's look at that. Hey guys, it is uh, Saturday morning. You already know that, and I already told you that. I just dropped her off, and I am headed into Old Paycheck Market to get some stuff for our new blender. Woo! I'm excited to try like the whole juice kind of thing. So we are gonna go get some um, bullshit vegetables like kale and all that crap. So, and some fruit and blah blah blah, all to blend together and make a nice green juice so uh let's head inside hey guys back at home now so i got groceries i didn't record in whole foods because you pull out a camera at whole foods and it's like they jump on you like instantly don't record in there it's really annoying i don't know why uh maybe they think you're trying to make a uh reality cooking show or who knows uh but you want to see what we got for groceries all right, uh, it's more along the healthy stuff, mostly to end up in that blender there. Uh, not mostly, some of it, obviously. You can dual purpose a lot of these things. So we got some celery, carrots, spinach, strawberries, ginger. Let's stay in the produce here. Grapes. Kale, of course. Um, avocados. Almost everything is organic. Uh, the pineapple, I think, is not. I think it's just regular. So we have some mini toasts, some cheese. We're going to try this stuff called Pavino. Now, I like an Italian cheese called Piave. So I think this, it seems somewhat similar. It's like a hard cheese. Um, I got some brie. Uh, to go on those toasts. You ever have this stuff heated up? It's awesome. Uh, I got some granola, quinoa, Havarti, 
This is prosciutto, and I can't believe the guy folded it in half, but whatever. Uh, people don't know how to do properly deli wrap prosciutto in California, I find. Uh, they just do it better at Italian markets. Um, what else we got here? We got frozen mango, frozen peaches, uh, almond dream, vanilla. That, that's good for blending stuff with. Uh, we have some yogurt. Uh, this is a good one. It's funny because I... I only buy vanilla flavored yogurt now because somebody likes to eat out of my yogurt cups so I don't get anything that has any kind of weird flavors or weird fruit that he can't have so I, I'm just stuck eating vanilla because if I have a yogurt cup and if I have a yogurt cup and he doesn't get to have any you should see his face he's like why so uh, got some ground parmesan a coconut got some veal and some what are these called olives oh also breadcrumbs so I'm going to make uh, like Italian veal cutlets um, bread like breaded veal patted really thin uh, I'm gonna do a practice run on those because I'm not sure if anyone's gonna be able to do it this year at Christmas uh, back home so I think I will take on the challenge so I'm going to do a practice run on that, see how that works. And, oh yeah, and I got Anna some, not a PlayStation controller, focus. Focus. There we go. I got her some uh, peonies. These are in bloom, so, or in season, I guess. This one's going to open up soon. And then, then this one, and then those two there. So, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mookie, what you doing? Here, watch, you can see him do the side eyes. Mookie, what are you doing? Mookie, do you wanna go out? Do you wanna go for a walk? Oh, you do? We'll go for a walk in a bit. He's like, oh, you tricked me, Pop. You know, everybody like his scarf still wearing it? Still digging the scarf. You're gonna take one of the bags? You want a bag? Do you want the bag? Take the bag, you can have it, you can play with it. Here. Hey guys, a little bit later in the day, um, I've been answering all your comments on my video. Thank you everybody for commenting so much, it's awesome. Uh, I wasn't expecting so many positive comments. I guess I'm gonna have to do more like photography nerdy videos for you guys. What do you think about starting another channel? Me and Anna are kind of back and forth about this because our channel is Anna Lee and Jesse. So, I mean, right there in the title, it kind of says you're gonna get a little bit from both of us. So, let us know what you think. If Should I start a separate channel for um, me stuff? Like boring photography, nerdy cooking kind of crap and keep the vlogs on Anna Lee and Jesse kind of thing? And uh, cause Anna has her hair tutorials on here too. So I think when most people think of Anna Lee and Jesse, they think of Anna. So uh, let me know what you think if you, I should start a, another channel. I've kind of dabbled with that before, but it might be a fun little project to start in 2015. I completely forgot. I got a package sent to me from uh, South Korea um, from a company called Cool Enough Studio. And they sent us a couple little gifts. It's really cool. And it was like sitting next to my desk and for the longest time, I was just didn't even notice it. Like I got the package, I was like, oh cool, and then something distracted me. Today I was like, oh wait, what is that? So I opened it up, completely forgot about it, so it was a nice little surprise. Uh, they sent us a calendar that, if you look at that, it looks like this. Which is kind of, uh, kind of cool and designy. It says, have a nice year, 2015. You know that kind of thing. This is not like a clock. This is just something you can set yourself It's cool. I guess more than it is really functional So that's kind of a cool like poster size calendar. I'll probably put that up in my office And then they also whoa, they also sent one of these I know mirrors on YouTube and stuff guys. Sorry, but it's just this little like mirror stick Which is kind of cool. Oh The irony of having a B rating <laughs> for nature well Wow, that's so funny. If you're in LA, you probably think that's really funny.
So I'm just headed to pick up Anna. I'm just gonna pop into Home Depot on the way to get a couple things. And I just stopped at Can I Loft to get food for Mookie. That's what I was doing. And a giant chew stick. A giant, enormous, expensive chew stick for Mookie. Because he loves them. Uh, so yeah, I am headed down to Hollywood right now. Some beautiful golden sunset about to happen. Uh, it's really nice out today. It's like... 65 degrees, calm, gentle breezes, uh, just your normal, beautiful LA weather. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping Anna's gonna want Mexican food after dinner today, after dinner, after work today, because I really want to hit up that La, La Escuela Taquiera again. Uh, the one on Beverly, though, not the one in Pasadena. So, fingers crossed for that. After you. So we're gonna get this place, it's called the Oyster. It's very funny. So Anna's done work, and then, oh, they, they changed the channel. Oh, it was the when on QVC for a second. So we got onion rings. This bad boy's a pork, pork adobo burger. Yeah. Belgian fries, and that is a Northwest cheddar burger. Yeah, okay, bye.